Good morning everyone and welcome back. In this video we'll talk about the potassium sparing diuretics. To remember these medications, I remember that potassium must stay. These are spironolactone and its brother epilurinone, triametrine and amyloride. They work by blocking the sodium channels in the apical cells of the collecting ducts. So sodium will stay inside the ducts and it's going to pull water and cause diuresis. The two brothers, spironolactone and epirinone, have antiadrenergic effects as well. We can use these two brothers for patients with hyperandrogenism. And they can also be used in patients with heart failure because they can regenerate the myocytes. And remember, they're diuretics, so they're going to pull water from the blood and decrease blood volume, which means less work for the failing heart. And because they pull water from the blood, they can also be used for ascites, as well as nephrogenic diabetic insipidus. And we can use them for hyperaldosteronism, because in this case we will have high blood volume, which we can interact with diuretics. The main side effect for potassium sparing diuretics is high potassium in the blood. And also remember, with the two famous brothers, because they have antiadrenergic effect, we will see gynecomastia and decreased libido. And here's a small quiz to kind of test your retention. So try answering these questions about potassium sparing diuretics. And here are the answers. Alright guys, that's all I have. Hopefully this helps, and I'll see you guys later.